I know, I know you probably thought about this very much, Kirsten. Oh, yeah. There's got to be some downside to having a woman president, right? Something. Something that, that may not fit with that office. Correct? Hmm, I'm going to say no. So there's no, <laughs> there's no downside the, to having a woman what, and... and just, just because you're female, that it would something... Well, let me ask you this. What's the downside of a man being president? Oh, do you got three, do you got three years? <laughs> I mean, look at the guys we've had in there since... <laughs> but 18, is that because they're men or is it because of the people that are in the, office? Look, men are, sir, men are men and women are women and it's a difference. Okay, there's a difference between the genders. Now, men, uh, they're tied up in a, a lot of them in a macho image and, and that kind of thing. And they, they act like you're not going to push me around. That could be a deficit. You know, they're not as kind of open to uh, sensitive discussion, maybe, as women. There's got to be a downside for a woman. Do you know one? Uh, you know, I'm having a tough time with this one, too, Bill. I think that depends on the individual. Of course, there's a downside to certain individual women. Um, you know, but in just general, like you, you both don't see I any don't gender deficiency to lead men. the free world. Well, no, I think well, as long okay, as I actually can think of something. I mean, if you, oh, could take, if you could take your example of the m men being macho, a woman might feel like she needs to act macho. For example, maybe feel like she had to take vote for, say, the Iraq war. I'm just going to say theoretically uh, to make it look like she would be a tough leader uh, when she was in office and that she's not afraid to use military force. So that's what Hillary Clinton did. Yes. Right. All right. But so that was a are we directing example. that to uh, <laughs> Mrs. Clinton? Well, I think a lot of people feel that that might have been part of her calculation, is that she wanted to look tough and that she needed to look tough because people sometimes, there are some okay, people so out there who would wonder, is a woman going to be comfortable using military force? I think it's a silly thing to worry about because we've seen strong women leaders, but right. some people think that. Okay, but that, not that many. There haven't been that many strong women leaders uh, right. throughout history. I mean, we have Golda Meir, we have right. Margaret Thatcher. Both of them were uh, we very have a bunch, tough. You know, a bunch of people in America on the Senate level and a Congress level. Um, but, you know, when you're president of the United States, you got to deal with people like Putin, Kate. you got to deal with real ornery, the mullahs yeah. in Iran. Look, the mullahs in Iran, they think women are like subspecies. Uh, yeah, how's you know. Obama doing with that, with these tough guys? I mean, I would say he's probably having a much harder time than some really strong women would have. Obama's just been bending over backwards to be um, gracious and, and work with but these people. There's uh, running rather than bash, over him. Rather than bash the president, which well, is, just, which is funny and easy, let's keep it on women. All right, so you, get to, <laughs> you got a woman of the uh, president of the United States, and the mullahs say, you know what, we're not going to deal with you. Uh, we don't like you. We don't think you're as good as men. Uh, the Muslim world does not accept uh, equality. Oh, no, we're not dealing with you. So usually, right away, there's a deficit there, no? Not really, because usually the president's not the one doing that. There's somebody at a, at a, at a, at a cabinet level who's doing most of that work. And I think that we've seen, you know, we've had secretaries of states. We had Condoleezza Rice. We had Hillary Clinton, who have been able to interact with All these right. people. Let, so. let me throw this out, because I know this is going to happen. All right, so say Hillary Clinton, and she's the only woman in play right now, uh, is elected. Well, you know the Chinese are going to test her right away. They're going to move warships into certain areas, and uh, they're going to... Bing, 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 bing. Let's see what we have here. They did the same thing with Barack Obama. They tested, yeah, they right. tested, they tested, all right, to see, you know, what he has. Now, Barack Obama, he dropped drones on him, uh, and I think Hillary Clinton absolutely would drop drones on him. I think she'd probably up the drone drop, um, knowing Mrs. Clinton. But now you're going to have, you're going to have, Putin's going to do it, Chinese going to do it, certainly North Korea's going to do it. They'll snatch some Americans, they'll kidnap them. They'll do all of that just to see how it goes, Kate. But, Bill, they do that to everybody. Right. I, 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 I really think there's no question about, we're going to talk about Hillary, whether she's tough enough. I think everybody knows. We, we've seen her throughout um, the Clinton years. I think, if anything, she's probably considered somewhat ruthless. So I don't think toughness is a question with her. I think competency when it comes to foreign policy issues, like, of course, Benghazi is going to be the big one. Um, she knew what was coming. She knew that there were, well, she knew that there were heightened uh, tensions, and yet she didn't do what she needed to do. She wasn't tough enough in that situation, wasn't proactive enough. And then, of course, she lied to the American people with the caskets right next to her. So I think her competency is going to be the question, just All like right. with any woman. Uh, but but any politician is going to be questioned, and her background is going to be delved 
delved into. Uh, Powers, I, I got a personal question for you, okay? Oh, no. <laughs> no, you cannot ask uh, no, me a personal question. No, of course I question. am. I do what I want on this show. You know it. <laughs> would you Would you want to be president of the United States? No, not in a million why, why, years. Why? Why not? Why? Why would you want all that stress? I mean, I don't... So you, no you would say that, uh, Kirsten Powers, I don't want stress, so therefore no, even I was, if I could I do the job and, and help my countrymen, because yeah. I don't want stress, I wouldn't do it. I don't want that. I also don't really want to be that public of a person. I'm, I mean, even what I do now is probably more public than I want to be. I, I like my privacy. I like to just, you know, sort of hang out with my friends. I just would never want to have to live under the microscope. I, I think it would be really, really hard. All right. How about you, Kay? You want to be president? No, I don't really think I do. I think it takes a very ambitious, uh, very self-confident human being with, a, with an unusual degree of passion for uh, changing the world. And I think that would take a very specific individual. It's probably right. not me. Ladies, Bill, do you anyone? want to be president? No, I, I, you know, I don't want to take the salary cut. I, it'd just be devastating yeah. <laughs> to me. <laughs> it would be a step down, wouldn't it?